Okay, welcome back to uh, the Pimax Crystal and DCS. Uh, today's video is about different types of pursuit curves. Now, I don't want to paint myself as Joe Expert here, but I, I have been doing these sims for a long time. And uh, I know a little about flying because I was a pilot in real life as well as in sims. And uh, I had a criticism, and I think in some ways it's a valid criticism, that for most of the last video when I was chasing these Falkwolves around, I didn't have my nose in front of them. And the commenter, the, the uh, commenter said that, uh, you know, there's no way I can get close enough to shoot them doing that or that, that I wouldn't gain ground on them. And that's true to a degree. What I was doing is called lag pursuit. And that's what you do when you're trying to conserve energy and gradually get to a better position. If I pull a lot of G to, to do a lead pursuit, put my nose in front of them and try and get closer, two things are going to happen. I'll close the distance until I bleed off energy in the turn. Then, when I'm slow, he can roll left, roll right, and get away from me because he can roll much faster. At the very least, I've got much less energy to play with than I'd like to have. So let's just see if I can figure out how to show you three different kinds of pursuit curves here. And again, I'm not painting myself as an expert. Uh, I was a trainer in Warbirds, and I've uh, flown a number of other sims. But DCS is an order of magnitude more difficult for me, mostly because the controls are very, very sensitive. And I'd like a force feedback stick. <laughs> because in DCS, boy, I, I, it's so easy to pull too much G too fast which is death in the Spitfire. You lose so much speed. And it's easy to actually uh, push it into an incipient spin just because it doesn't take much motion on the joystick. So let's give this a try. See if I can avoid looking like a complete idiot. All right, so I want my nose down a little bit here. I want to make sure I've got some speed. There's one guy down. I'm going to try and pick up the trailer. Okay, there he is. Now, see, I almost... There, look at that. Got my speed get a little bit low. You can't feel it in the sim the way you can in real life. You can't feel anything happening in the seat of your pants other than maybe, you know, <laughs> when you get scared enough. Uh, anyway, the thing is, what I'm trying to do is keep my airspeed up so that I can gain ground on him and get a shot in close. Now I'm just conserving energy here. I am pulling a little bit of lead pursuit. What I'm doing right now is called lag pursuit. And if he's turning hard enough, I will gradually close the distance to him. Once I've got energy, though, I can pull up behind him. I want to keep him in sight if I can. Do a roll to stay behind him. I'd like to shoot him faster than this so that his wingmate doesn't kill him. Okay, again, now I'm going to pull the E. Got another hit on him or two. I want to overshoot. I'm not doing the best shooting I've ever done. I'm hitting him, but they're not vital hits. And I've got a slight lag between pulling the trigger and... Uh, or hearing the sound, which can throw me off. <laughs> I think Pimax is still working on that little bug, but it's not too serious. I kind of got used to it. You actually shoot a couple of rounds off before... Uh... Okay, so now I've got my nose inside him. This is uh, pure pursuit nose is on him. When I put my nose right on him, it's pure pursuit. When I put it in front of him, it's lead pursuit. Right now, I'm just kind of staying behind him. I'm actually throttling back a bit so I don't overshoot. Normally in a dogfight, I hate doing that. There, see, I just read it out there. And for some reason, my gun's jumped off. Anyway, very close to a blackout there, and it was actually probably should have been a red out. But as soon as you red out, you instinctively push the stick forward, and then in DCS it's extremely easy to go into a, a blackout. 
There's no sensation of G build up in the game. As long as I've got altitude and speed, I don't care if he's uh, three nautical miles in front of me or one nautical mile in front of me. I've kind of got him where I want him. All right, so now I'm going to just pull in. heavily armed of the uh, of the Focklos, but it certainly packed a punch. So now again, I'm just doing a kind of a lag pursuit here. I'm, I'm trying to conserve my energy. My airspeed is getting a little bit slow and I don't like it, so I'm, I'm just going to stay in lag pursuit here. Try and get my airspeed back above 200. 